May I present you with a video about making blinks. So what I'm showing you right here is just that each blink starts out as a sheet of metal. And then I put the metal into the die. This one is a heart. And then I center it into my press here. This red thing underneath is a jack. It's a 20 ton jack and I crank it up by hand. And that just raises the level of the platform up high enough to put pressure on that die and punch out the shape. So I can tell that I'm there when I start to meet with some resistance, you can see there in the video. So then I go ahead and lower the platform and then I can remove the die with the sheet of metal that's still attached. And I'll wiggle that free. And then I use my rawhide mallet to break the blank free. I just have to hit that die to get it to loosen. So I don't normally remove the plastic film from aluminum, but I'm just showing you in the video. But here at the bottom, you can see there's still a tab on the bottom and I'm gonna need to cut that free. So I do that by using a jeweler saw. So this is like a coping saw. Uh, it's not a power tool. And all of my hand cut pieces, I go ahead and I use this jeweler saw to make and also all of the punched blinks that I make. So you can see this is a pretty straightforward shape. It's a heart and so this part where the tab was, I just need to cut straight lines and so that's a little bit quicker than maybe the more intricate shapes like the feather or some of the flowers or um, some of the other shapes. So once that is removed, this is the raw blink that you would receive if you choose a raw one. But if you want it to be deburred, or deburred, I don't know, I said that weird, <laughs> then I would move on to my belt sander. So with my belt sander, it's just a faster way for me to go ahead and remove those burrs that are left in the punching process. Because of the process of using a pancake die uh, that makes these shapes, it leaves a sharp edge on the back where the metal kind of pinches out as it cuts. So those can be a little bit sharp and raised as you can see on this close up here. And the belt sander, like I said, is just a fast way to go ahead and remove those. So I always run over it with my fingers, check to make sure that there aren't any high spots or sharp places. Some of the pieces of, um, well, some of the blanks that are more intricate like the feather the belt sander is not good enough, and so I take the burrs off of the um, harder spots to get by using my flex shaft. So this is round shot and you can see in the other container I have mixed shot. So if I was tumbling brass or copper or new gold or something like that, I would first put it with the mixed shot for about an hour or more, and then I would rinse off all the pieces and then put them into that round shot to tumble them. And for another hour or more, just depending on the pieces. And then I go ahead and fish them out, usually with a strainer, but you know, not for the video. So there you have it. That is how I make your blinks.